I want to talk about is coronavirus and that that's such a hot topic. In fact, in this very room, we had a hearing uh, earlier today, um, a, a briefing, I guess you would call it, uh, with some of the nation's experts on the issue. Uh, there's been some discussion already in our opening statements about the fact that there is disinformation out there, unfortunately, including groundless conspiracy theories that are being um, promoted. Um, and there's an analysis I saw that you all believe that there is, quote, evidence of inauthentic and coordinated activity concerning mostly these social media posts and tweets. Can you just briefly talk about the work GC has done on this subject already, the spread of disinformation uh, on the coronavirus and the conclusions you come up with regarding the role of state actors and others in propagating these falsehoods? Absolutely, and thank you for uh, raising this important issue. Um, the coronavirus is an example of where we've seen adversaries take advantage of a health crisis where people are terrified worldwide to try to advance their priorities. Um, the GEC has a robust analytics and research capability, and we also work with partners so that we can use the highest level of technology and the latest data science tools to be able to assess the information environment. So we've been watching the narratives that are uh, being pushed out, false narratives around coronavirus. Unfortunately, we have been able to assess that accounts tied to Russia, the entire ecosystem of Russian disinformation has been engaged uh, in the midst of this world health, cri health crisis. One of the best practices in countering propaganda and disinformation is exposing it. So decreasing the vulnerabilities in audiences that are targeted and increasing their resiliency requires exposing examples of disinformation. This is an example where the GEC worked with public diplomacy and public affairs at the State Department so that we could get the word out and we actually engaged with um, a media organization to share some analysis that we had on what we were seeing in terms of coronavirus. We saw the entire ecosystem of Russian disinformation at play, Russian state proxy websites, official state media, as well as swarms of online false personas pushing out false narratives. Exposing it by working with the media has, made, has built awareness around this issue that there's a lot of disinformation. And right now I hope that all actors will act in the most responsible manner to support people who are scared around the world in the midst of this crisis. Thank you. Exposing it is obviously critical, also providing the counter narrative, which is the factual narrative and the scientifically based narrative. So we thank you for that. Uh, and again, we'll have opportunity to just talk more about that and other issues. Senator Booker. 